we are going to install Laravel 11 on a PC. Go to Google and search for Laravel. Click on this first link. This is the official website for Laravel. Click on this documentation button to get started. The current Laravel version is 11. To create new Laravel project, we have to use this composer command. Our project folder will be inside XAMPP, htdocs directory. Open git bash cli here. Paste that command here and change the project name. After that, hit enter and wait for the downloading process. It depends on your internet connection to finish installing Laravel. By opening this Lara blog folder, we see the default fresh Laravel folders and files. To run this, just open git bash in the root this project folder. Then, run the php artisan serve command. So, we need to navigate to this local host address in the browser. As you can see, our Laravel project has been installed successfully. We now have Laravel version 11.14.0. We are going to see how you can use virtual host in order to navigate a URL like this instead of the default local host address. Open Notepad as administrator. Then, click on File. Open. C Drive. XAMPP. Apache. CONF folder. Extra. Change this to all files. And then, open this http-vhosts.confi file. We are going to define a new virtual host for our project. Remove these hash symbols. We are going to use only these two lines. We have to change this path to our project path and this server name. Go back to our project and open the public folder. Copy this path. Then, paste it here. Remember to change all backslashes to forward slashes.
On the second line, we have to define our project domain name. Don't forget to save this file. Open Notepad again as Administrator. Click File. Open. C Drive. Windows. System 32. Drivers. Change this to all files. And then, open the hosts file. Add our project domain name here. Make sure this domain equal to this. Then, save the file. This localhost default URL will still work. Let's try our new URL. By trying to navigate our new URL, we get this error. This means you must run the server first. Open XAMPP and start both Apache and MySQL. As you can see, we can navigate to our project using this URL. See you in next video.